take on the car. Fuck off. Damn, he really did though. <laughs> What's up, What's guys? up guys? <laughs> Today, we're replacing this because of this commenter's excellent suggestion. Thank you, my friend. I like the use of the word fuckers. Now, check this out. I made this, it was the second mod we ever did, and I didn't have a whole lot of money to throw out the car at the time, so I was like, damn, here we go. Boom. And it was like, damn. But now, I can afford a $40 intake. <laughs> so we're gonna do an actual cold air intake install that rests in the wheel well, instead of this one that sits right above the transmission and has no hope of getting actual cold air. Rest in peace, crunched Spectre. You will be missed. But where are we gonna get the intake from? I don't know. Where are we gonna get the intake from? Probably inside that box. You know, you know where how we're gonna get it out of the box. We're gonna have to use a little bit of unboxing, unboxing time. Oh damn. <laughs> Check it out, bro. Green. Got a got a mushroom tip here. It's pretty hot. Pretty sags. Let's see if my air intake is cleaner. <coughs> There's something in here that I'm not supposed to be breathing, but my car might be different. One pipe. Two pipe. Coupler. Coupler. Here's the magic. <laughs> cool, huh? You like that? Check this out. Now, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this thing off. This little coupler that we hooked up. I'm gonna take this bitch off. Now I'm just gonna put the new one on. And take one of these boys and just kind of. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> For a minute I was like, please tell me this is the wrong size. That would make my day. Here we go. Hose clamps. Gonna put one clampy boy right down here. Make sure when you put a hose clamp in a precarious position like this, around a bunch of like metal and stuff, is that you aim it in such a way that it's going to be easy to take off if and when you need to. That way, you don't end up fucking yourself. The hose clamps provided are a different size than normal hose clamps that have an eight millimeter bolt head on them. So I'm gonna use my old ones for as long as I can. Cause why wouldn't you just use an eight millimeter head? Nice and tight. <coughs> this one, this one goes on first. But before you do that, you need to take your mass airflow sensor off of whatever old intake you had. This little guy. It's not gonna have the gray stuff on there. That was something I did to seal it in, in my last intake. But, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it through here. So this is your old uh, seal that goes around your mass airflow sensor. This is the one that comes with the new one. This is too tall. Your sensor's not gonna protrude far enough into the pipe to sense what it needs to. Reusing your old seal, uh, from your previous intake or air box should be fine, but it might not hurt to put some sealant around it just because on mine at least, the fitment was a little bit loose and I don't want any leaks. Now, I'm gonna take my little boy, my little friend here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him in there, bro. Boom. There he is, baby. He's just vibing. Just vibing. All right, guys, so this new intake has this. So little mount for it. The best that I can tell as to where it is supposed to sit and the angle it's at is right here. This little black metal bracket. I don't remember what was here. It might have been part of the air box or it might have been something else, but there's a threaded hole here. So what I'm going to do, thread this little fella into that. I'm going to take this guy, cram him through here. Do some of that nonsense and fit him down into this couplet. Get this nonsense all lined up. 
a nut on that. Nut! Another thing that I wanted to mention, a couple episodes ago, <clears throat> I mentioned that I like to just have my uh, crankcase vent to the atmosphere, which does work in some cars um, that don't require vacuum on the crankcase because there's not enough pressure for it to matter, or they have multiple hoses removing crankcase pressure. This just has one, and I've been losing a lot of oil. So, I'm hoping that some of that may be because I didn't have actual vacuum on my crankcase. So while I am a big proponent of not filling your intake with oil vapors, some cars you have to, especially as they get older and the oil leaks and consumption get worse. So I'm going to take this line that came with the kit, fit it as best I can over this guy. And honestly, it's just gonna pressure fit because this, this is a tight fit here, bud. They didn't include hood cl Bro, they didn't include they didn't include hose clamps for this line. Uh, you can get them; they make small hose clamps. But I don't think I'm going to need it on this side. However, on this side, I can see that being the case. Next, I'm going to take my coupler, my second coupler, and cram it over this guy. Not right about halfway through. That's roughly halfway. Take my hose clamp, make sure that it's where it needs to be when the time comes to tighten everything. Then I will take this, my second piece of pipe, and I need to figure out where the heck I'm gonna put it. Because I got a lot of shit crammed in this corner here. All right guys, so what we kind of came up with was that this isn't long enough to go like here or anywhere other than where it's at. So we just kind of crammed it up through this gap between the battery tray and the transmission. Doesn't seem to be rubbing on anything that it'll cause an issue with. Yeah, now we just gotta hop under the car and get the mushroom tip on. That shouldn't be too much of a pain, but this is what we're looking at. Got this mount here that we showed you earlier. Got this tube. Got this coupled. Then it just kind of runs down and it gets colder air you know, I mean, it's still right behind the radiator fan, which is notoriously hot, but it's colder. It's not a wheel well intake like I was hoping. Also, this bracket on this part of the pipe, we can't find anything that that could possibly go to. Like, maybe we could force it to connect to this, but I don't want to try and force that. It's in place. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to tighten up the hose clamps. And then I will get back with you when I'm under the car suffering. Hello. Hi. Here I am. I'm gonna flip our hose clamp over because I'm aligning it in such a way that will help me perform my duties better. You're on it. You're just not lined up with it. You just kind of move a little bit of up. Just a tad. Oh, okay, yeah, you're on it, on it. There you go. That was kind of a pain, but hey, performance is pain, right? So uh, yeah, we got her on there. She's down there doing some cool spunky shit. And uh, now all we gotta do is fire this baby up. It hisses in a different way. I kind of like the way it hisses now. And the exhaust needs to be pinned back up into place. You can hear that it's worse than normal. Yeah, that it's scraping against the ground. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna see if it feels any different. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I feel like it has a little bit more top end. Like once you get past like 3000 RPMs, I it could totally be a placebo effect, but I think it has a little bit more a little bit more
bit more to give just because the air is fresher. <laughs> the exhaust. Dude, I can hear it scraping this entire time. It's so bad. It's because there's two people in the car. Oh, dude, that's fucked. Yeah, we need to pin our exhaust back up. That's kind of the moral of this story. Yeah. Fuck the intake. This exhaust needs its hanger fixed. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, for more Civic content, more exhaust dragging content, you know? That's where it's at, honestly.